Dave Stanton again, Dave Stanton's Jokes and Stories. I uh, got kind of a joke story, kind of a laughing matter, kind of a serious matter, but it's about texting and driving and, and uh, just different things about texting. You know, I had a, I knew somebody that was texting me one time when they were driving and they, they went off the side, they went off in the ditch on the road and they said, I almost hit a, I don't know, I think a deer or something. And I said, you shouldn't be texting and driving, talk to me later, you know, and like, <laughs> And like people text and drive, that's how I got one of my um, my vans um, um, totaled, just because someone was texting and driving, I think, and they they weren't paying attention. You know, they they need to drive and put down the phone, drop the phone and drive. They say click it or take it. They say, should say drop it or or flop it or something. I don't know. Click it or take it or get rid of the text or um, you'll be in the jail in jail like the rest. <laughs> I don't know. They should put a real they should really come down harder on that, but anyways, the funny stuff about that is, is, you know, you'll see a couple, and they'll be at a restaurant, you know, like, they're going out on dinner dates, you know, they're all dressed up and everything, and they're sitting there texting on their phones, not even paying attention, they're either texting their friends, and sometimes they're sitting there texting each other, and I'm like, why don't you just talk to each other, just talk, just talk with your mouth, don't text, <laughs> and uh, it's just crazy, you know, and I don't know. There's just some crazy stuff, some crazy stuff that goes on. They got these kids anymore, these little infants, these little kids, even little bitty. I mean, young young kids that can figure out these phones more than they can, uh, more than adults can. I'm sitting there thinking, this little kid can figure this out now. I can figure out phones too because I've had an Android. I've had Androids for quite a while. When I first got it, I didn't know what I was doing. It's like it's all Greek to me. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just messing stuff, trying to get help from people and. Now I'm kind of like a whiz at it, but I guess if I was a little kid, I could help adults, but I'm not a little kid, but maybe up here, maybe up here I'm a little kid. No, I'm just kidding, but um, I, I'm like a big kid, little kids, all I like them, but they, they're some smart, I mean, these kids are smart anymore, you know, you hear that show, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Well, are you smarter than a two-year-old that can fix your phone and figure it out better than you can? I'm just kidding, I don't know if a two-year-old can, but who knows. And be honest with you, I'm probably not smarter than, than a kindergartner, maybe a preschooler, but probably not a kindergartner, because I haven't been in school since I don't know how long, and these kids are so much more advanced, and they're using tablets and Chromebooks and, you know, all these different kinds of, you know, uh, electronic devices and mass technologies increase big time. These kids can figure stuff out. Like, I'd be like, uh, can you help me, a uh, little, little toddler, little boy, little girl, can you help me figure out how to use a laptop? <laughs> you know, you're asking a little kid for advice, you know, and they're like, you know, they just type it in, they figure it all out, show you, like, uh, can you go a little slower? I'm a little slow. I may be years older than you, but I'm a little bit slow in my old age. <laughs> but, you know, just don't text and drive. Don't text and drive. Put it down. Put the phone down. Drive. Don't drive. Don't text and drive. Just drive. And when you stop, when you go home or where you're at a restaurant, just text. When you're on a date, don't text each other across from each other. Talk to each other with your mouths. Talk to each other. Say, baby, I love you. Uh, let me order you some shrimp and some all the some all the good food, some uh, all the cart of uh, of a uh, rack of lamb or uh, you know something crazy, you know something good, you know not rack of lamb, but like ribs. Get some ribs. Get some steaks. Get some stuff. Spoil that spouse or relationship you're in. Don't don't be texting them back and forth when they're there. Talk to them. Say hey, put the phone down. Let's talk one on one. Um, but yeah, you know, me and my girlfriend, we we talk quite a bit on text. Sometimes, most of the time, I need to call her up and hear her sweet, sexy voice. I love you, Sheena, baby. <laughs> so let's. I need to call you, sweetheart. If you get this, you you know I love you. I, daddy, daddy loves you. <laughs> daddy, daddy miss mommy. No, I was kidding. Uh, I say daddy like you. I got that from her friends. The daddy like you. <laughs> I just kidding though. No. But uh, she's a Christian, I'm a Christian. We love Jesus, and I love Jesus. And I hope that you get blessed from these messages, these jokes and sermons and stories and singing and uh, stuff about hackers. I'm trying to help with hackers so you know not to get hacked, that you can block the user before they hack you so they don't try to steal your channel or steal, or steal your subscriptions and likes. <clears throat> but I hope you all have a wonderful day. Jesus loves you, and I love you in Christ. God bless you. And have a great day. Like, subscribe, comment. Got prayer requests. Put them down. Want to talk? Whatever. Comment, like, subscribe. Whatever you want. 
you know, I will pray for you. I pray for even the viewers, even if you don't subscribe or like. I still pray for you. I love you in Christ and Jesus loves you too. Have a wonderful day and God bless and bye-bye.